What's up, guys? Oh, wow. Check that out. So, box by box, baby. When you all saw the beginning of that uh, how to series on the red E36 when I was explaining how everything was going to go, that wasn't my motor. That was. <laughs> that was Jackson's motor and it's a clone of ours it is a but it's an 84 and a half uh same cams otherwise 2.8 uh 10 and a half to one yeah. same wise goes just a half a mil wider so it's gonna make a little bit more torque uh oh other difference CX racing slightly smaller runners big top mount so we'll see how it uh acts compared to the spa manifold on that car and then the uh fresh produce one on Chris's because all of these cars are 2.8s and they're all 10 and a half to one and they all have the same camps. This block is just so clean. Dude, the, the gold freeze plugs, it's so gay. The skim, yo, the gold freeze plugs. Wow, Wills did a great job there. And then uh, he did not do any uh, valve work, right? No. So if we have any issues in the future with any kind of like uh, leak down or stuff like that. That's probably gonna be why. Uh, otherwise, everything's looking really clean. I mean, look at the quality of these non-Vanos rods. They look brand new. Yeah. And they've all been balanced and stamped. Love that. So look, weight off there and up top. So as you have to balance these rods on both sides. And then of course, the 84 and a half wise goes, oh man, they look great. I know. All right, so we got some ARPs there. Nice. Nick Fab Wrap. Nice. Some Blyco rods. Oh. And then Holy some shit. ARP rod bolts. ARP rod bolts. Perfect. Want to go ahead and get started dropping in the crank. We'll throw it in dry with its bearings, and then we are going to check our clearances on all of them. Once we check clearances and we make sure we're good, we will take the crank back out, lube those bearings underneath, and then we will go ahead and torque them down. Now, one thing I'm curious about, do we have, there are no oil squirters here. We could buy new ones, but the only place that has them is the mothership and they're super expensive from BMW. We don't have time for that. So we're gonna see if we have some, we can clean up and check the check valves on. And they are from an M52. Yeah, I wanna check this little ball in them because if you look here, Let's see if the camera can zoom in enough to see that. There's a little ball in the tip of those that's essentially a check valve. And uh, you can check and make sure that it moves. And if it feels really jammed or the springs feel depressed, then those cylinders won't get as good of oil pressure at idle. So we're gonna clean them up, make sure they work, make sure the springs are healthy. And that way we don't have to spend 30 to $40 or however much they are each and wait eight days for BMW. This one's already, the check valve's clearly working. It just feels a little crunchy but it took fluid as soon as we did that. So let's soak it a couple times and see if it feels a little better. Oh, that already feels better. All right, there we go. That's good. That one's good. These are the little things that nobody talks about, but everybody should really know, right? Yep, yep, yep. I mean, the fact that I would have looked over this 10 times over if I was doing this alone, I would have never even thought to do what you're doing right now. Yep. It's crazy. Let's try that again. Does she go through? We'll see. That didn't go right through. Oops, I, my hands get shaky. I see that. That didn't go right through though. Cool. And balled at the top. But we know these are at least Correct. healthy, you know, yeah. they're not frozen. Which is nice. Yep. Now, down the road, will it come back to bite us? No. Something like this isn't going to be the end of the world. Got those main bearings. I do. Nice. I snagged them. Let's go. So. You hear that? I hear a supercharger. What is that? Should we, should we look? You, you don't, we can't not look. No way. Yeah. No way. <laughs> and we're back. Okay. So ACL race bearings. I was going to talk about uh, how hopefully there's some sort of treated or coated. Uh, who knows though? Let's see. I actually haven't opened them until right now. Mm -hmm. This is the first time. Oh, these are nice. They are treated. Uh, they got a little scan code. There's a part number for y'all as well. There's all the 
upper shells installed. And there there you go. go. Nice blue. Mm -hmm. Nice. Not dropping this. This is important. Yeah. Good here. Come on down slowly. All right. Okay. This is ready for plastic gauge. I just don't have or can't find it. So uh, anyway. he's gonna wrap up. I'm going to go home as well. I'll grab some and I'll be back here shortly to uh, continue working. But uh, it's a beautiful thing, my friends, a beautiful thing. Here we go. All right. So I've got the opportunity to spend the night doing the bottom end. I'm about to jump into the main bearings themselves. We will do a plastic gauge check on those. Mm -hmm. And if those check out, we will mount the crank in for good and torque it and get started on full assembly. So that's it, not much talking for you today. Let's build the motor. We're done with the dry plastic gauge checks. Everything's between 0.0017 to 0.0020. Uh, nothing really actually was 0.015, but this one came kind of close. Let me see if I can. It's a little wider. So I'm gonna do one more check on that one beforehand, and then we will go ahead and grease this up and throw it together. Let's go ahead and drill Jackson's block in two places here and here and mount his oil chain tensioner. We will mount it right here and let it press onto that chain as it runs up to the oil pump. As you can see on these non vanish rods, we have markings. Those markings on that side, but not on that, allow us to determine which side the exhaust ports go to. The exhaust ports are always the smaller ones, and take ports are larger. So we will face those exhaust ports to the numbers. Let's go ahead and start throwing these together. Make 
make sure that clip or the hole in the clip stays away from the hole over here. So we'll go ahead and set this in. 